Hey, hey, hey guys, it's me again, your busy teacher. And this morning, we're gonna be looking at the topic of history of computers. Yes, guys, just like that weird intro, we are diving back into history this morning to see just where computers came from, what caused them to be what they are today, and eventually get a picture of where they're going. So sit tight, stay tuned, and let's learn about the history of computers. All right, so let's first examine the abacus. Now I know that some of you guys, if not all of you, have seen this device before. Yeah, we got it as gifts when we were children and we were asked to make it in primary school. Yup, this wooden frame with rows of wires along which you can slide beads or bottle covers or just about anything that helps you to count is the abacus. But guys, the abacus doesn't only help us to count. It also helps us to do other mathematical equations such as multiplication, division, subtraction, and the list goes on and on. Now let's continue in learning about just who created the abacus? It is important to note that the creator, the actual creator of the abacus, is still unknown. However, researchers have traced back the use of the abacus to the Babylonians, ancient Rome, China, Japan, Russia, the list goes on. So we'll credit these persons for the creation of the abacus since it was being used in those places in that period of time. That's the farthest it has been traced back to. Finally, for the abacus, let's look at the date of its creation. Now, unfortunately, no one knows exactly when the abacus was created. However, researchers again have traced back the use of the abacus to about 300 BCE. Guys, that's a long, long, long time ago. As a matter of fact, history states that it is more than 5,000 years ago. What were you doing 5,000 years ago? You didn't even exist. Your parents, 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 parents weren't even thought about to, to enter the world as we know it. However, the abacus was being used way back then. Isn't it amazing, guys, to see just how far the computer is coming from? Just a reminder, guys, I have posted video links throughout this video that will help to show you how these different devices were used in days of old. Watch them and become acquainted with what used to be so you can appreciate what is and what will be in the future. Alrighty then, let's get back to business. The next device on our list of devices is the Pascaline. Some persons say the Pascaline. It is a numerical wheel calculator. Yes guys, this is a calculator. Can you imagine having to take this to school to do your mathematic problems? It would not be fun. But we are happy that this invention was created because it was the first type of mechanical calculator created. And of course, it opened the way for so many other creations that led to the device you use now as a calculator in your math classes. So how is it used? Now remember, I have posted links such as this one throughout the video that you can click on to see exactly how these devices were used. But simply, the Pascaline was used by turning those little wheels you see on it clockwise to add and then turning them anti-clockwise or counterclockwise to do subtractions. You can watch the video to see exactly how this works. Blaise Pascal set fire to the road when he created the Pascaline. Yes, Blaise Pascal was the creator of the Pascaline. Now, Blaise was born in 1623 and he died in 1662. He was an excellent mathematician. 
he was French, and not only was he a mathematician, but he was also a scientist. And you can see all of his achievements coming out in the mere fact that he created the Pascaline machine. Can you tell me how old Blaise was when he died? It's a simple calculation. You don't even need the Pascaline to help you figure that one out. Now let's move right along to when the Pascaline was created. It was created in 1642. So many years ago, guys. Do you really see how far the creation of computers are coming from? First, we had the Abacus. Now we have the Pascaline. And we are going to be moving on to see just what else history has for us in regards to what was created to, cre to have us have the computers we now have today. All right. Well, now let's go to the difference engine. Now, the difference engine has a peculiar story behind it. It was first created by Charles Babbage. However, Charles Babbage died and was not able to complete his creation to who he wanted it to be created. So, another inventor by the name of Ada Lovelace swooped in to the rescue and helped to finish Charles Babbage's machine which changed it later from the difference engine to the analytical machine. Quite simply, the, the difference engine is a machine that was created to do complex calculations and could run a series of calculations. And it made it far more advanced than the Pascaline and even the Abacus that we were looking at before. It was created in 1821. However, it was not completed until years later due to Charles Babbage dying and Ada Lovelace having to take over to enhance it and finish his creation many years later. Penultimately, let's look at the tabulating machine. This was an electromechanical machine designed to assist in summarizing information, primarily stored on punched cards. Now, if one should really take the definition of computer and look at it literally, you could say the tabulating machine was indeed a computer. It was an electronic device that facilitated input, processing, output, and storage. Now, the story behind the tabulating machine is that it was created in a competition that was offered to create machines that could help out the U.S. census that happened every 10 years. The tabulating machine, sometimes called the census machine, was created by Herman Hollerith in 1889 and completely re revolutionized um, computers and machines and engines that were created at that time. And ultimately, I present to you the Apple II device. Now, this device was the first all-in-one computer system that was built and marketed for people like you and myself, where we could play games on our computers. We could do word processing, database management, spreadsheet uh, management from the comfort of our own homes. This was what the Apple II computer offered. It was created in April 1977 and was created by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. They were the persons credited for its creation. Now you can see guys, it's quite easy to form an appreciation for the computers we now have today, our phones, our tablets, our laptops, and the list goes on. Because when you see where we're coming from, it's not hard to appreciate what we have and to also be excited for where we're going. This was our topic on history of computers. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I am your busy teacher. See you again soon.